Welcome to the Dr. Izzy's Medical Podcast Channel. Question, how does aldosterone affect the reabsorption of bun at the kidneys following ROS activation and pre-renal failure? Answer, increased reabsorption. Question, how does GFR change following the backlog of pressure and postrenal failure due to urinary outflow obstruction? Answer, decreased GFR. Question, how does GFR change in pre-renal azotemia? Answer, decrease. Question, how is potassium levels affected in acute tubular necrosis? Answer, hyperkalemia, due to decreased renal excretion. Question, what two measures are taken prior to chemotherapy of nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis to decrease the risk of urate-induced acute tubular necrosis? Answer, hydration and administration of allopurinol. Question, what are the two major etiologies of acute tubular necrosis? Answer, ischemia and nephrotoxicity. Question, what are the three main causes of acute interstitial nephritis? Answer, penicillin, NSAIDs and diuretics. Question, what drugs are the most common cause of nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis? Answer, aminoglycosides, radiocontrast agents, lead, cisplatin. Question, what is a complication of acute interstitial nephritis if it is allowed to progress? Answer, renal papillary necrosis. Question, what is the acid-base status of someone with acute tubular necrosis? Answer, anti and gap metabolic acidosis due to hyperkalemia. Question, what is the cause of acute uric acid nephropathy? Answer, precipitation of uric acid crystals in tubules collecting ducts, thereby leading to obstruction of nephrons. Question, what is the cause of chronic urate nephropathy? Answer, chronic hyperuricemia. Question, what is the FENA in a patient with acute tubular necrosis? Answer, greater than 2% due to decreased NA reabsorption. Question, what is a substance found in antifreeze that causes nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis? It is commonly seen in children as it is blue and tastes sweet. Answer, ethylene glycol. Question, what is the most common cause of renal papillary necrosis? Answer, chronic analgesic use. Question, what is the most common type of acute renal failure? Answer, acute tubular necrosis. Question, what is the normal urine osmolality when renal tubular function is intact and normal? Answer, greater than 500 milliosmoles per kilogram of water. Question, what is the treatment for drug-induced acute interstitial nephritis? Answer, withdrawal of the causative agent. Question, what is the urine osmolality of a patient with acute tubular necrosis? Answer, less than 500 milliosmoles per kilogram of water. Question, what is the value of fractional excretion of sodium when renal tubular function is intact and normal? Answer, fractional excretion of sodium less than 1%. Question, what type of casts are seen in the urine during acute tubular necrosis? Answer, brown, granular casts. Question, which immune cells are a very key feature of the urine in a patient with acute interstitial nephritis? Answer, eosinophils. Question, which type of urinary casts are seen in acute tubular necrosis? Answer, eosinophilic, dirty granular casts. Question, what is a type of acute renal failure that is also known as intrarenal failure azotemia? Answer, acute tubular necrosis. Question, what is a renal disorder that involves the deposition of urate crystals in the renal tubular lumen? Answer, chronic urate nephropathy. Question, what is a renal disorder that may involves eosinophilia and rash as it is a hypersensitivity response? Answer, drug-induced acute interstitial nephritis question. What is a chemical that causes nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis and is associated with oxalate crystals in urine? Answer, ethylene glycol. Question, what is a type of acute tubular necrosis that is typically preceded by pre-renal azotemia due to a decrease in blood supply? Answer, ischemic ATN. Question, is a renal disease associated with multiple myeloma and involves the deposition of amyloid light chains at the glomeruli or tubular basement membrane? Answer, light chain deposition disease. Question, which endogenous protein that can cause nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis and typically occurs following crush injury to the muscle or other types of muscle injury? Answer, myoglobin. Question, what is a type of acute renal failure that involves necrosis of the renal papillae? Answer, renal papillary necrosis. Question, what is a type of acute renal failure that presents with gross hematuria, proteinuria and flank pain? Answer, renal papillary necrosis. Question, what is a feature of ischemic acute tubular necrosis that involves focal necrosis of the renal tubules, typically involving focal rupture of the basement membrane? Answer, tubular excess. 
Question, which is substance that causes nephrotoxic acute tubular necrosis and is associated with tumor lysis syndrome? Answer, urate. Question, what type of casts are seen in the urine of someone with acute tubular necrosis? Answer, brown, granular casts. Thank you for listening Dr. Izzy's medical podcast series. If you want to support this project please subscribe the channel and like this video. Thank you.